Hey, just wondering to the start line. Really quite nervous at this point, simply because after the DNF at Tarawira, I feel like I have something to prove. So let's get it done. Five, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go! So we're just doing the initial loop to get us out and back. I'm going super conservatively, just given recent experience, that seems like a good thing to do. Um, and I'm probably near the back of wave two, but as I said to some guys, there's a long way to go yet. It's just got to enjoy it and get it on. And there's a bunch of other people, I'm not sure if they wave two or wave one, I'm assuming that the front of wave two coming back the other way. Thank you. Highlight of the Auckland Marathon is the bridge, but also the real challenge of the Auckland Marathon is the bridge. I just because it's. Like hill, don't. Well, Stop. I heard that. <laughs> it, it's I'm, I'm allowed to. I'm allowed to complain about that. About that a little bit. You're in for a rude shock today, my friend. No. So far the strategy going out easy seems to be paying off. Heart rate and high 130s after a big one. Going okay. As we head along, one of the things really interesting to see is just the landscape. Um, I've never been to this part of the world before and the landscape is just remarkable. The colours, um, the, the cliffs and the way it just, the rock fractures and just looks incredible. So, we're on a bit of fire road at the moment, so not quite as exciting as some of the trails, but it's okay. And at least means I can roll along at a sensible pace. <laughs>
I can't complain. Very much been going conservatively, trying to trying to conserve my energy. It's starting to warm up quite a bit. It was uh, single digits in the morning. And we're probably about about 15, 16 degrees. I'd say in the sun. So it's by no means hot, but it's warming up. Here we go. Okay. And aside from a few logistical cop ups, my first drop bag is at aid station four. I thought I left it at three. But there we go. We're just going to get on with it, get it done. And it's going to be where it's going to be. Right. Rock on. Thanks guys. Well, this is proving an interesting experience today. Um, not only this is my first time doing a UTA, it's the first time I've just hit the reset button in a little race. I just puked at the top of the stairs. Um, I was about 62k in. Um, maybe 63k and I feel quite a bit better for doing it but it's not an experience I can generally recommend I not feel very good I've got to say oh jeez more stairs Today has not quite been going to plan. Um, having had a good puke earlier, which made me feel a lot better, I've got to say. Um, I'm just getting the most awful cramps, and I think it's just all the stairs up and down. Still about 29 kilometres to go. It's not going to be under 14, unfortunately, so no silver buckle for me. But there we go, it is going to be done. Nine k, maybe eighty k. Really thought I was back from the dead for a bit there. Um, but as I run down this beautiful, beautiful fire road, that I should be absolutely storming down at five thirty. Okay, I can feel my quads really not liking it very much. So. I guess I just have to keep going and see what happens. About 12k to go and a huge hill. But there we go. My quads are mounted. That being a technical term. I didn't get to do this at Tararara. Thank you so much, bro. Bro, can I get a foot rub? <laughs> no, you can't get a foot rub. You oh. trust me. Oh, thank you so much, mate. Congratulations. Have a nice finish. That was so hard.